I'm living my dream. Syrian refugee Hassan al Konta describes a blissful life in Canada, his new home after months of being stuck in uncertainty, living in a Malaysian airport. Now he's advocating for other refugees living in limbo. The story goes back to the time I was at the airport. Uh, during that time, I received some messages from uh, people who has been detained in Manus and Naro Islands. They asked me to tell their stories. In 2018, Al Conta famously spent seven months in the Kuala Lumpur airport in a complex story that began when he was forced to leave the UAE, where he was working when the Syrian civil war began. Unable to renew his passport, he applied for a three-month tourist visa in Malaysia. But his attempts to fly out of the country kept getting derailed until his visa expired and he literally had no place to go. I don't know what should I do. Someone advised me to make a video. Terrified of returning to his war-torn home country, he called for help on social media for months. Malaysian authorities eventually detained him for being in a restricted area without a boarding pass. But his story had reached people who fought for his release. Human rights groups eventually helped sponsor Al Conta's asylum in Canada, where he's been living and working since November. It's my time now to help others. Speaking to CNN from his home in Vancouver, Al Conta is now partnering with two non-profits on Operation Not Forgotten. Endorsed by Amnesty International and the UNHCR, it's a campaign to privately sponsor some 200 refugees to come to Canada who are now stranded on Nauru Island and in Papua New Guinea. I gave up on governments a long time ago. I gave up on international law a long time ago. It's the individuals, people around the world, whom I trust, whom I rely on. Uh, and call me naive, but they can lead the change, they can be the change. Do not attempt illegal travel to Australia by boat. You will be stopped. Since 2013, Australia has sent thousands of asylum seekers arriving on their shores to processing centres on remote Pacific Manus or Nauru islands. Many were left for years. As reports surfaced of humanitarian abuse and neglect, Australia denied liability and strongly refuted any claims of deliberate harm. After continued backlash from rights groups and the United Nations, most of the refugees have reportedly been moved off the islands, but some still languish in uncertainty. They are losing hope. They are having the feeling that the whole world has forgotten them. Operation Not Forgotten must raise about three million Canadian dollars to comply with Canadian law for private sponsorship. Alconta knows he's asking a lot, but says he feels a personal obligation to succeed. I thought when I reach Canada, it will be the end of the story and uh, I will live my fairy tale and uh, life will be nothing but happiness. It is. Uh, I am happy, actually, but uh, it was, I was wrong. It's nothing but a new beginning and something bigger this time. Michael Holmes, CNN, Atlanta.